All right, we are back. Novak. Now, I think before I decide to find out whoever the hell runs this place, this is clearly the main attraction, so I'm going to come up in here. Oh, please have someone selling shit here. Please. Beautiful. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Okay. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Yeah, trying to hold out on no me. No one ever buys the T-Rexes. Sure thing. Have a look. All right. Let's see. That's, that's a good amount of 223s, but... Hmm. You got a bean bag? Jesus. Oh. Hello. No suppressor, though. Huh? Oh, my God. What? Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Before I get carried away here. Increases ammunition capacity. That's a lot of money, though. Oh, my God. A couple? You have a couple souvenirs. That's a thousand fucking toys. My God. Oh. I saw a scope and I was like, <gasps> Yes. That gun. No thanks. Let's see what I can sell to you. That. Those. I'm just going to sell that. I can find more big horners later. I don't have nearly the survival to get that right off the bat. None of those weigh anything. Centaur blood. I need to find a house so I can store shit. Alright. That's worth a lot. Hell yeah. That's worth a lot of money and it doesn't weigh anything, so I'll hold on to that. You can have those. Um, probably need that down the road, so... Doesn't weigh much. Um... <laughs> Thanks for doing business, man. Come back soon now. I'm starting to wonder if I can even get a suppressor for the 9mm. I still believe I can. But let's be honest. That's beautiful. I don't even care if I can't. That's beautiful. Is this in the mouth of the T-Rex? Oh, whoa, oh, hello. What's going on, man? Not much, dude. How about yourself? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Who's that? Boone's a sniper. Same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. Hmm. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, <clears> but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Why not? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. 
One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas, me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something <laughs> happened. And I loved it. Anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Well, the Legion's a little bit better. But, I'll let you have that one. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Gulf when Bitter Springs went down. Oh. I felt like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, it's rough. would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for there's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sure I know. What do you want with them? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Do you we need do help? Trade. Okay, need I can help. do that. There's something I need, too. All right, what's up? Novak, it's home for me now. <clears throat> I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Alright. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. We're gonna give it about two seconds. I'd like to see if I can take his rifle. Probably not, but whatever. Whoa, what? Ah, that's right. Oh, wow, he has a lot of ammo. Holy shit. <sighs> Hold the phone. Where are you going? Fuck! What? Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to risk that. That room just looks like a treasure trove of good things. Do you not leave the place at all? Coming over here? Cool. Hmm. That is a hell of a lot of suit. Oh! Thank you. Thank you very much. You can, uh. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something, yeah. Something indeed. All right. 
let's see who the owner of this this fine establishment is. I'd also like to see if I can't meet that Boone guy. Sounds like a cool dude. Cliff Bros Briscoe's bungalow. Hmm. Hello. Nobody. I am sorry, but I'm not sorry. That is literally the best. Go oh, you definitely look like the sniper. Hello. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. Yeah. All right, that's like right now, so I'll just... Yeah? Oh, you're just a settler. More than likely don't have anything to say. Ranger Andy, huh? <clears throat> oh, damn. Hello there. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't <laughs> been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, no, no, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Hmm. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go that to seems innocent enough. I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. Oh, God. He shuts himself back in the closet. <clears throat> and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times. Maybe it will for you, too. Let me show you how it's done. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. All right, I can do that. I'm glad you changed your mind, because I'm probably going to be over there shortly. All right, let's see. Boone's still heading up, and Manny's getting off, so. I'd like to talk to Boone, and since he only talks on shift, I'll talk to him on shift. Man, that's such a nice looking gun. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? 
Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still right. haven't answered my question. I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. That's strange that that's how you trust people. I want you to find something out. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. All right, I can Good. definitely do that. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. All right. I'm not going to ask him about that. That just seems very rude. All right, now we can do hard locks, which is beautiful. And then I'm going to put that into that. That goes up to there. Mmm. I need survival, actually. I need level 10 stuff. Here and now immediately grants another level. That's a really good one. All these VATS one, ones just seem... Like, I don't like VATS. I'm more of a old school shot, so... I think I'm going to take the here and now. Survival up another five. And then I'm going to bring guns up. I should be fine for now. Pretty good. Thanks for asking. Alright, so now at the same time, I'm helping one guy out, doing my own thing, and I'm helping Boone out. But honestly, I think I want to help for help Boone out first. He seems like a good enough guy. And if he think, I think he was he was assuming it's someone here, so. Excuse me, miss. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Well, let's uh, let's talk about Boone first, and then we'll get into talking about a room. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. Mm. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking It's a little sketchy because he knows how she died. I see a key behind you I'm going to steal. Oh, what am I doing? 
I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. It's up there, actually. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel. But Long thank you for... Troublemakers. Thank you for being kind about it. We're in a little desert oasis. Name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel. And it's mine. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Hmm. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Sounds nice. Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. Oh. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. Nelson, but we huh? we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Good. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Really? Watch out for strangers. All right. Thanks, Jeannie. I really want that key. Did she just leave me here alone? Oh! All right. We, the representatives of Con Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and the per and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford of the township of Novak the exclusive rights and ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof, hereby acknowledged, we warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We can... We covenant with the set with the said Jeannie May Crawford. We have the full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be pe due pending successful ma maturation of the fetus. The claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Okay, that's a little fucked up. That's extremely fucked up, actually. She has a bill of sale from them to her, so I have no doubt in my mind it's her. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Okay, if that's what you think. That actually looks pretty cool. Hmm. Well, she had it coming, so. Oh, I need to repair that. That's, uh, that's disturbing. Kind of upsetting. Hey, Victor, right? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Don't rightly know. Just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. I suppose. Seeing how this is the only road around, 
I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. I suppose. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Hmm? Well, this ain't New Vegas. I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. Be seen. All right, well, that was nice. I'm going to go talk to Boone and see what he thinks. I mean, I have the bill of sale, so it's kind of coincidental I found it right off the bat. I was thinking it'd be Manny, you know, best friend. He had a lot of reason to do it. I was going to talk to her and then talk to him, but... That's it, then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Fine by me. I really wish I had your weapon. I'm going to use that because it gives a plus five to crit chance. Yeah, I'm just going to drop that. I do need to repair my sheriff's duster, though. And I'm thinking the only way I can do that is to head back up to the NCR outpost. Um, unless this guy knows how to repair stuff. Excuse me, sir. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Um, I was hoping you could repair something for me. No. Nope. Come back soon. All right. Is your radio not working or what? All right. I'm gonna find myself a room if I can. Um, I don't know how I can get a room now because of the whole, you know. Her being dead, I probably should have thought of that. Maybe I'll see if I can actually grab one of those keys and just live here of my own will. Hmm. No, I'm guessing I can't take any of these keys. Hmm. And you know what, for now, for now I don't mind him following me around. I'm sure at some point in time, it'll prove, it'll prove useful to have a, uh, have a teammate with me. He's a sniper, so I can only assume he's stealthy. And he has a sniper, so we can take people out from very far away, and... I can't think of any other reason why. He'd be good, but I can't think of any reason why not. Manny Vargas's room, huh? Alright. You have any luck with the ghouls? Yeah, see ya. I do wish I could take his gun from him. Oh, so very much do I wish this. You made quite the choice putting us up in. Passing through on our way to Boulder City, I'm sure we can count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. 
I know where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong, and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. So basically, Manny knew. Because the Great Cons were with the guy that uh, shot me in the head, so. Knowing the Great Cons is. Uh, is this. This room here, is this just a random room? Is this my room, maybe? Potentially? Can I live here? Like, I don't understand any of this. Like, half this stuff is available, like the bed. Oh, while well, trespassing, okay. Maybe one of the rooms upstairs is a room I could have purchased before I shot her in the head? Who knows? Requires a key to open. And she didn't have a key on her, did she? I mean, she had the key to the safe, but I don't know. I know she didn't. Hmm. Well, shit. Well, I haven't had a home thus far. I think I'll be fine without one for a little bit. Well, you ready to go? What is it? He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. No. All right. You want to do something different? If you think it'll help. Attack enemies the moment you see them. I'm already doing that. Oh, all right, good. Right. Oh, there's a uh, another. Another pack mule, pack brahmin, with no owners, what on earth are you doing here, sir? Um, I, I don't know, why is this guy holding up a weapon? Mercenary, mercenary. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Okay. Didn't I already trade you? Because I doubt you'd have that without me. Mm. That's probably the only time I'm ever going to buy those, so I don't mind spending the money. Alright. What else do we have? Have some of those. I'm sure, you will need them more than I will. Oh, that uses a 5.56 ammo. That's a really good sounding gun, actually. Might hold on to that. There you go. Thanks. Thanks for your business. Sorry for the whole gun in your face thing, by the way. Who's all in here? Door to McBride's house, huh? Howdy. Hey there. You're from out of town, ain't you? How's it going, Dusty? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. Really? Less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake midnight. up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. 
<laughs> but it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Well, I'll see if I can do anything. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over. Oh, I won't. Alice and I will find a way to make do. Always have. I believe in you too. Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can no hope bark. is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. The west side? Okay. So long. Thanks for your help. I will uh, look into that. Hello, Alice. What you here? Oh, you know, adventure. Wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. All right. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? Oh, yeah. I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We <laughs> set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, Long time the or danger so. on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Nice of you to visit. Well, I'll come back as soon as I figure out what's going on. All right, so they got some cattle. What time is it? It is past midnight, so they've already killed a cow or a brahmin, I, I should say. No, that must be. And it says they're coming out of the west here, huh? A crow. I'm amazed I spotted that guy. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psycho psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. May I talk to you? Alright. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Or who the hell that girl was that just ran past like it was nothing? Are you just a random settler? Howdy. Howdy. The It has to be a nightkin. I could swear those I could swear those were bad guys. I don't know why it was blue. Why I couldn't talk to it. What brings you here? Find anything? Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and... Oh, you don't have to pay me. And help yourself to anything... Hardly took me two minutes of work. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Thank you. So long. Yeah. 
What, freezer now? I'm sorry, I didn't. This must be it. Me and Boone. Thank God he had my back. That pistol is doing no damage. Alright. Let's see what we have out in this house. Jeannie Mae Crawford's house. Maybe she has the motel room keys in here. Keep your eyes peeled, Boone. Um... Busted up toilet. There's nothing in here. Oh. Oops. Must be up a little higher. Oh. Even higher. There we go. All right. Now, Boone, what say you and I? Are there more houses? So I know damn well nobody sleeps here, so. Since packing ammo into a dead person's grave. Got a workbench over there. Novak house, huh? It's open, so maybe I'm I can sleep in it. Oh, these are all just uh settlers. Must be like a um a public building. Everything's free in here, so. Anything purified water? Nope. Alright, can I. S uh, I can't sleep on a couch. Alright. Now he mentioned, uh, what's his name? No Bark? I was thinking maybe that guy had a house out here. That might be this one. What's. Looks like a uh, scrapyard. Hmm. Oh, he does have a house in town. All right, good. I wasn't sure if I could even enter this building. Hello there. They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Confounded, no bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. Now, I know what I seen. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Oh, I know. I fixed that Seems situation. Every night when their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. That makes sense because he had a minigun. Chupacabra, a livestock vampire, says no bark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says no bark, we got a chupacabra with... I don't want to hear about that. I've already fixed that on accident, too. They said from the west, I saw a stealth boy and went for it. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up. Yep, I heard about that, too. I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. <laughs> he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span. More often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. 
Sounds like Manny Vargas. If anyone asks, we never spoke. I doubt anyone will ask. How do you get past the guards? It's pretty cool how that works. That's very cool, actually. Alright, boom, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go check out the scrapyard. Actually, what's uh what's my current mission? Um Yeah, I think I'll eventually help Manny out. But he did lie to my face, so I'm not gonna do it to help him out. I'm gonna do it to help out, you know, getting the ghouls out of that place. Don't want anybody getting hurt, but I don't know any Manny any favors right now. I don't plan on repaying anything to anyone till I get to at Las or New Vegas and I can get myself a steady home. Cause I am carrying around way too much crap I don't even need. Another puppy. Who is in here, huh? Anybody? Hello? Oh, there they are. Hello there. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. I could prospect it. Happy to do it. Oh, I would love you forever if you had a 9mm suppressor. A laser be rifle beam splitter? That's insane. You'd think it would double the damage, but I won't question it. We'll take your turpentine. Thank you. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Sure thing. I would like you to repair my... Oh, you don't repair my... You can't repair my clothes, huh? Um... Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon, even my favorite chair. The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting <laughs> first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Hmm. I wonder if they're still in new, the New Vegas area somewhere. That's a dumb question. Take care. <laughs> What'll they call you, old lady Gibson? Hmm. Need to work on that repair skill. But someday. Not today. Let's go check out her scrap. Maybe there's uh, something of use in here. You got a lot of damn dogs in here, don't you? Oh, and it's all takeable. Good. Got some turpentine. I just want to take stuff I can use. Jesus, Boone. Settle the fuck down. This gave me a damn heart attack. Alright, um. Doesn't look like there's anything of use. So let's uh let's head to Helios one, shall we? Let's see what we can actually actually I just thought of something. Boone, how would you like taking a pit stop over to Prim? I'd like to see if the uh NCR soldiers made it made it down safely. And uh I remember 
there being a couple hard locks in the casino I'd like to take a shot at. As well as one in the... Both casinos, I should say. I thought the other one was a hotel. But yeah. Alright. Um, we'll check inside. They said there would station people out here, so... I wonder, do these count as bonfires? Can I, can I cook on them? No. Oh well. Where in the hell is everybody? Did I walk past someone? No. Hello. Hello? Oh, it's all empty. There are two hard locks. No. All right. Did I check this one here? Thank God Boone doesn't complain. Take it easy, Slim. Let's go see if they're at home. Looks like it's just becoming morning. Ain't but a kick in the head. There you are. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off, to you. You're welcome. Yep. I got more ammunition now that the NCR keeps supplies flowing in. Beautiful. On the other hand, I'm paying them NCR taxes. So now you've got to as well. I fine, I don't want you paying for everything. Alright, nothing in the miscellaneous I care about. You have a lot more money accessible now, that's good. Is that it? No, that's a temporary. Alright. Try to make it quick, I don't want to take too damn long. Oh, that's steak. Good, good. I got a couple single shotguns, some Hydra. What else did I get? Did I not get two single shotguns? You must not be able to buy it because I stole it. Alright. Well, let's check the... Uh, well, I can't think of the name of it. The Lucky. Alright. The Bison Steve. Another one. Should be right... Isn't there... An, there's two hard ones here, I believe. Where's the other one? Either way, I only had 25 pick lock picking when I first came here, so... There's probably a lot I couldn't open before. There we go. Oh, you are a piece of shit, aren't you?
Actually, I need that anti-venom. I used my last one up. Pain in my ass. Were you locked too? No. It might have been, but I got you open. Lucky, what a holy sh shite. All right, thank you kindly. All right, well, Boone, I think next time we're going to make our way to New Vegas. So we'll see you then.